didn't film this, but I probably should have. <laughs> oh, I got strings on my banjo. I did it, I did it. Um, I don't know if there is like, you can't have too many wraps on the string thingies or not, but uh, I knew it this. <laughs> so I didn't do enough last time, so hopefully I didn't do too many this time. But I got the bridge in the right place, so, sort of. Woo! Woo! Now I'm going to attempt to tune this thing. <sighs> Wish me luck. Where is the tuner? Found it! Okay, so this is supposed to be G. nervous doing this because I'm scared it's going to pop the string and it's going to go right in my eye. I should wear sunglasses when I do this because I get a little nervous. I did it! Okay, now it's probably like totally out of tune again from the top. Okay, now that it's close, um, I'm just going to just kind of stretch them out. this raises the action, you know, so he can play dobro. I'm kind of interested to see why he says it's not going to work now. See, he usually plays his dobro on his lap, where this guitar, and usually it's a round neck, but this is a, a I mean a square neck, but this one's a round neck, so it's more for having the slide on your pinky and then, you know, playing and sliding. Um, but he'd rather have a dobro that he can play that he can play on his lap. So let's see how, how it sounds. He says it doesn't sound good, but I kind of wonder if maybe he's just being picky. But it does need new strings, and new strings makes a huge difference. I mean, my banjo sounds way better, so. Yeah, new strings. I mean, the winding, look at the winding on this right here. It's like gone. <laughs> if you haven't guessed, I'm alone on the boat right now. I, uh, Pete's actually going to North Carolina and he is picking up a truck, a 1965 Chevy. He's got finger picks. Should be picking here. I like these little things. Man, I, oh, there's a pick in here. <laughs> okay. smells so good. This thing has been through a lot. Um, Pete actually made this cool thing for it, this little piece, because of the way this is, it'll cut into your arm when you play. So it just kind of slides on there. And um, this is actually Ava's mandolin, and it was actually Pete's before that, but I think it's from like 1904 or something. Um, this is actual real uh, turtle shell because of the age, you know. Um, and what happened was Ava had this in her fiddle, in her mandolin case, which was a pretty good, we got our nice hard tweed one now, but she also plays the fiddle. And what happened was she had some rosin sitting in the zipper part of her case and we loaded this into Pete's truck and at the time Pete had a truck that um, that had a gate that kind of closed and the rosin just crushed 
perfect right on this thing, right on here, and crush the mandolin in pieces. We had a friend, Paul Berger, uh, he actually passed away um, about a year ago, and uh, we gave that to him, and he did some pretty good repairs. Um, this right here was all cracked here. Um, he repaired that, and this was all crushed in. This, you can see all the cracks in this because it had just been crushed completely in. And the back had some horrible cracks in it, and, it, and the cracks were so bad that um, it crushed in again. Like as soon as we tightened in the strings, everything just kind of crushed together because it was just, nothing was holding. So what Pete ended up doing was, um, he made, uh, he actually took this and cut it on his bandsaw, cut the back off, and then we had some really pretty, um, really nice, I forget what kind of wood it is, but it's good wood, you know, for instrument making. What he all also did was this right here, because of how horrible it had gotten um, crushed in, he made a piece in here, a brace, to kind of hold this up, and I think he also glued in some of the bracing that was on the back. Um, so this, we tuned it up, strung it up, never, it didn't lose its sound. It actually sounded better than ever. Woo! And smells so good. It smells like, it's like old wood or an old book when you go to read a book and it smells really good. Well, this one's, this one's an awesome mandolin. This might actually be Ava's fiddle. No, I think this is Pete's. It needs to be wiped down too, it's getting moldy. This one was from a friend of ours, Bob Parsons. Um, it, these right now need a new bridge. The bridges on here is like bowed like this, like a banana. <laughs> Um, the moisture usually gets to these bridges, so, uh, I was going to order some of these bridges online, but it was going to take, like, two months to get here, and um, that's crazy, so we're going to try to find, um, a bridge locally. <laughs> See, the cool thing about mandolin and fiddle is it's the same fingering positions, so I can play Old Susanna on the fiddle, kind of, not really, because it's different, obviously, you're, you're looking this way at it, and also you got this to deal with, and, um, but it is the same fingering, so... way. I brew my tea for a little while and then I take the tea bag out and then I pour some milk. I still have like 45 minutes to spare. I guess I'll start sewing. bobbin so that's pretty good I've got all the smaller ones made and now what I'm gonna do is after work I'm gonna go over and see Cindy she's with custom marine canvas here in st. Augustine and she's a great canvas worker and I'm gonna ask her if she can put snaps in these I will get these done Pete said it might rain later so Trying to make sure all the electronics are kind of put away. And um, I think I have my rain jacket in my backpack. <music> Waiting for the water taxi. Looks like it's going to rain today. I 
another thing I like about this uh, this water base that we put on our decks is that it's not slippery when it's wet, which is good because sometimes you'll put oil on the deck and it's really slippery. So this is really cool. It's actually got a lot of grip to it, which is nice. You don't want to have a slippery deck, so that doesn't sound right. So supposedly the bus is running. I did run it and parked it. So it must mean it is running. Okay, let that soak in overnight. Now to head out to the boat. It's about a half hour walk. It's about a mile. So better head out now because uh, I want to be able to catch the taxi. So Okay, back aboard Norna. And I want to see how these things are going to work. Yes, Layla? What is that face? <laughs> I love you too. Perfect. Yeah, let's see how it works. Okay, I want to get out some stuff out of here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pull it out. Pull it out just like that. Done. Snap it back up. Done. Yes. That's so much better. Cool. Ow. I went to Cindy's. Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Did she make it put them on for you? No, you I put on. How'd you do it? Did she, she gave me the tool. tool? That's so cool. Yeah, I just went there and I did it. You gotta bring it back to her though. No, I, I was there. Like I did, oh, you it, did it there. Shop. Awesome. Yeah, I still have the big one to do, but I got the That's so cool. All these. Yeah. Unsnap one. They're Unsnap. all done. They're all ready to go. They're strong, aren't they? Yeah. They're like, they actually got to loosen up a little bit. But there That's you go. so cool. Reach in there, or if you need to unsnap it all the way, you just Yeah, snap. exactly. But there's no need to. When you're at sea, that'll fucking, those ones in the middle will keep that shit in there. Yeah. I mean, if we're getting thrown around that bad, you know. That looks so good. It does. I love it. It makes <laughs> sense, too. Yeah. You did them all? Yay! I did all except for the big one. I got a big one to do. Okay. That one's kind of like... I gotta go take a shower. I feel disgusting. Yay!